Greetings and salutations, everyone. Joel Cheeseman, Managing Editor here at RecruitingTools.com. Sitting down with Dean Acosta, our Dean DaCosta, sorry, our resident uh, sorcerer. Dean, how are you? I'm doing well, and how are you? I'm I'm well. So you're you're really excited about Amazing Hire, Amazing it's Hire. Amazing. Sorry, dot com. Yes. Uh, yeah, don't worry. I got smacked. I'm not as excited, apparently. Um, the, 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 the owner, the, 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 the guy that made it slapped me a few times for saying amazing hiring too. So <laughs> it's a little it's tough to say those things. double, those double ing domains are tough, yeah. but, uh, yeah. Tell yep. us about amazing hiring. So amazing hiring is in a phenomenal tool and I want, and, 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 and it falls into several categories. So category number one would be a people aggregator, finding contact info. Category number two would be an actual sourcing tool. Category three would be a CRM. So it actually fits multiple categories. And I'm not going to start on the page. I'm going to actually start over here in GitHub or in Hireable. And I've done a search for, for um, uh, job developers in Seattle. I'm going to go into GitHub. Uh, and actually look at this young Jedi's uh, profile. Emphasis on the words young. Oh, wow, he kind of looks like uh, Justin Timberlake a little. At any rate, get, I am here. Now, first thing you need to understand is not a lot of, of, of people aggregators work in GitHub. I mean, you got, you got profit. We'll give you some stuff. Uh, connect the fire if it even is working. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, it don't work. Well, it's giving you some stuff, but optimal. But here's where amazing hiring sits. It sits on the left, which I love because that's away from all the other junk. And you push this and look at all this information it found on this young Jedi. It found email addresses. It found home pages, Stack Overflow, Google Plus, Twitter, uh, Google Play, Gravatar. What is that? Uh, about, oh, Ask Ubuntu. Um, what is that? Stack Exchange should have known. That was dumb. Pounce. Pooch, I believe, pounce, and then it found several other key bases. I mean, basically, this guy is all over the place when it comes to developers, which is phenomenal. That's what you want. But hey, emails. I like emails. Now, that's not all. First thing you need to be aware of: this thing works in almost virtually every social site out there. It'll work in Stack Overflow, which almost nothing does. It works in Facebook, again, not many do. LinkedIn, Twitter, um, About Me. Um, be Behance, be known, uh, clout, and 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 I have yet to find a social site that doesn't work, in, which is phenomenal because, like I said, there aren't many that do that. So when you now say it says a social oh, site, so just to clarify, if I go to their LinkedIn profile, it'll pull this data. If I go to their Twitter account, it'll. Is that what you're saying, or are you saying something yeah. different? No, that's exactly what I'm saying. Can if I'm in LinkedIn, I, um, yeah. I'm actually going to Twitter. All right, there you go. Wow, that is one busy little page there. So he's obviously been to Japan, if I recognize the writing well. He's a well, uh, well-traveled gentleman. Okay, so I yeah, don't see the tabs on the left. Uh, and sometimes it takes a while to come in, which is why I didn't want to go to Twitter first. Twitter is very tough. It takes time to get there. Um, so instead of doing Twitter, let's do this. Let's go ahead and, and get back, and we'll, we'll show you on LinkedIn, because I think that'll be a little bit easier for us to, to determine. Okay. Um, actually, no, you know what? Let's go to Stack Overflow. So this is a Stack Overflow page, and look, Amazing Hiring's right there. That's a Stack Overflow. Yeah. Huh. Okay, let's get out of Stack Overflow. Let's see where else we can go and play. Oh, let's go to Google+. Plus. See, this is one I haven't tested, Google+. Google+, Plus is one of the most difficult sites to search and to do anything in. I, it, Google+, Plus is just annoying sometimes. <laughs> well, why should you be able to search Google? Well, it's just Google+. Plus. It's the nature of the way they put right. their information out there. That makes it so difficult. Um, so, um, so we've seen that. We've seen that, and I already know it, it works in um, LinkedIn, but I'll show you anyway. Um, I'm actually searching for his name in LinkedIn because it's easier. Assuming he's in LinkedIn. Uh, not enough info to tell, so let's see. He is, he works, he, where does he live? Something. What information can I use to get me to his LinkedIn to figure out which LinkedIn is him? We know he's in Seattle. Oh, he may not have a LinkedIn page. That's really quite interesting that he may not have a LinkedIn page. It's not hmm, totally doesn't have a LinkedIn. for a developer, is it? 
Yeah, no, not really. But yeah, he doesn't have a LinkedIn page. Too bad. But anyway, I already showed it worked on Stack Overflow, so I'm not going to keep looking at all these different sites because, to be honest with you, I don't. Some of these sites I barely know, like the Ubuntu one. I hardly know that one. I know of it, but I've never really done them a whole lot on Ask Ubuntu. So oh, it's Stack Exchange, Ask Ubuntu. I know if at Stock Exchange, I just didn't know about Ubuntu. Okay, and it's not showing up here. So I know that it work, it's worked on every site I've been to till now. So maybe they're doing something with it, um, but it normally does. But to me, I don't really even care because as long as it works on GitHub and Stack Overflow and LinkedIn and 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 Google and, and Facebook, i really not sure I give a flip about the others because those are the biggies. Yep. Um, everything else can be cross-referenced. I mean, you just saw me do it. I just highlighted the name and right-clicked and was able to cross-reference them on LinkedIn. If I use sales search, I can cross-reference them on any of these places, and, so, and I'll find them. So I'm not worried about it. And if I don't like, and if I and if and if none of those places work, I can go up here and go to uh, and go to Social Geek and then cross-reference them on any of these pages. So I can find them. I'm not worried about it. But the point is, it can look at all this information it provides me. Now, remembering that. We're going to open an amazing hiring. We're going to open this profile amazing hiring, assuming it shows me signed in. And if not, then I'll sign in, and then I'll go ahead and open it. And there's all this information. And copy the clipboard. Save as Microsoft Word. So I could save this as Word, and I have a resume. That's pretty damn cool. That is really cool. Now, since we're in here, let's go to their search. We're doing a new search. We're in amazing hiring doing a search. Cool. Let's pick on Java. I love picking on Java, and we're going to keep on Java. Well, we're not going to do an or. We're not going to do any other conditions. We could add more. We're in this greatest CL era. It says there's 52,075 profiles. Let's open them up. Oh, my God. Look at all those people, including where you can find their info. You can filter by experience, by duration of the last job, by duration of each job, by having email, Skype, phone, IP, whatever, by where the, notice, there's 52,000, but only 49,000 are on LinkedIn. So you can find people that aren't even on LinkedIn. You can do it by company. Let me get over here a little bit. You can do it by education, by city, by current company, by current position, by level, all this. And again, let me reiterate, there are over two almost 3,000 people that are not on LinkedIn that this is finding. Wow. Yep. And look at all the sites it's going to. I mean, it's going to, I'll say, have I heard of all them super user meetup? Yeah, I've heard of them all. Okay. I always wonder if there's a site there I don't know about. <laughs> oh, and is there more than this even? Oh, wow, look at that. Slideshare, yeah. Look at look at this. I mean, there's look at all these places. This thing is cross-referencing to find information and people from. I mean, I, I I'm not sure what else there is to really say. I mean, this is that this is really that great of a tool. Okay. So let let's actually go into one. Let's pick on. Um, see, we could select a candidate. You can open. You can do it. In. So let's open Nick Dimit Dimit Duck Dimit Duck. I think that was his name. Long duck down. Dim and dim. Yeah. So again, select candidate, copy the clipboard, save as Word, upload a resume if you happen to have a resume. So this is the CRM part. Let's select the candidate. Um, and this is where I've created vacancies, you know, basically jobs. So I can go ahead and do that. Create a new vacancy. No, we'll just we're we're good. We're good here. We're just gonna let it save just the way it is. You can and add we're notes, happy. Notes to that person too. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Uh, right, well, right below, below. Well, right here, see where it says edit contacts. You can edit contact information. Okay. You know, so yeah, the answer to that would be yes. So there you have it. And then if we get back, let's see, because I'm still remember I'm actually playing with this as much as you guys are. Vacancies is where you'd have your different vacancies. I don't really have any vacancies, so I may not be able to save the person there because um, I'm just using this purely for searching purposes. Um, but, I mean, that's a lot of really great information. I mean, this is a sourcing tool as well, and it sources places that not, I mean, 776,000 people just in the Seattle area. Wow. Now let's get rid of that. It may not give you a number because, yeah, it's not going to give you a number because the number is too big. But you have history. It actually even saves your searches for you. There's other added conditions you can add based on company, title, skills, survey, exclude from search. You can even exclude things from the search. I'd be curious to know what that excluding from the search thing is. Um, like I said, I'm even learning how to use some of this my, myself because I don't always do some of these things. 
Um, so it's just a, and then up here is obviously skill and everything you want. I mean, it's some really cool stuff. So let's pick on uh, Hadoop. We're going to pick on Hadoop. Zero, I don't really care about that. And then we're going to go to do, 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 city. Okay, oh, okay, wait a minute. Take that back. Disregard that. Add condition. We're going to add city. And there it is. And we're going to pick on Seattle again. I like picking on Seattle. It's where I'm from. Um, okay, this one was supposed to be a keyword. Hadoop. Oops, my bad. Sorry. Hadoop. You see, this is one of the reasons why I like doing these live because then you guys get to see me actually do some stuff with it that I haven't done before. And let's see what we got. Uh, we got 8,545 people, but a thousand of them are not on LinkedIn. So that's a thousand people. Guess what? That's a thousand people that most of the most other recruiters probably have not seen. And to be quite honest with you, out of that 7,500 7, people, I'd be willing to bet you half of them haven't been seen. Now you're probably wondering why. Here's where I'm going to get off track and, and, and put an end to a fallacy. When you do a search in LinkedIn and you get 40 pages of results, 95% of all recruiters don't go beyond page 10. Why? Because they seem to think that the results are brought back in order of how good they are, and that's not right has no bearing on it. It's based on how many times certain words appear in certain profiles or how many times those profiles are viewed and or how active they are on LinkedIn, depending on which algorithm is being used or a combination of the three. But it has no bearing on good. The last person on page 40 could be the best candidate of the bunch. It's always good most, recruiters, that. most crews don't get to page 40. And that's why I say out of these 70, 75, 34, I'll be willing to bet you half of them aren't, haven't been contacted or looked at much. So keep that in mind. Great point. But as you can see, you got emails, phones, Skypes, IP, I, ICQ, and let's get real. Even if they don't have an email or a phone or a Skype or an ICQ, dude, you know where they work. You know their name. You try and tell me you can't figure out their, their work naming, their work uh, email address. Come on, a good that's like can. sourcing sourcing 101. <laughs> Let me help you out. Here's where we're gonna get off charts a little bit. Let's 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 help out a little bit. Let's say you found somebody. And their name is John Smith, and they work at, ooh, I don't know, let's say Amazon. Sorry, Amazon. Amazon.com. Oh, wow, look at that. It's first initial last name at Amazon.com. So if their name's John Smith, their email's jsmith at Amazon.com. Wow, that's so tough. <laughs> and if you're like, well, but how do I know it's really right? Well, you know, that's when you go over here to Email Validator, and you validate and see, and see if it'll come back right. Here, I'll even help you out. So, so nobody contact me. Lockheed, oh, wait a minute, my domain is lmco.com. <sighs> Unfortunately, this is the one thing I hate, Lockheed. Lockheed Martin may not work for me because my REDL domain is so much different than regular. Um, let me think. I'm trying to think of somebody I can pick on here real quick. Um, yeah, I'll just make it simpler for you. Lockheed Martin's email domain, that's my, where I work, is first name dot last name. So just so you, so you understand that it works. And if it don't work, then there's a problem. Yeah, it's good. You know, I knew it was good because it's my email. You know, so. And if you still have doubts and you have Vibe, you just use Vibe to cross-reference it. In this case, it couldn't cross-reference it. Okay, fine. That's because it's my work email. It's my personal email. It had all sorts of information on But the reality is it's a good email. You already know it's good. So why bother? And by the way, the reason why I like this tool is because if you log in, it has the capability to do mass email validation, and that's something a lot of other email validators don't have right here. Yep. You can do up to 100, up to 100 at a time. That's why I like this tool. For free. One thing you can always guarantee with me, not only will you learn about the tool that I'm supposed to talk about, but you'll probably see a few others along the way. It's just the nature of the beast with me. I understand, understand. Let's. Um, I don't yeah. know what else to really even show you guys about this tool because this tool is just so freaking phenomenal. I mean, it does so many things. And like I said, I've shown you, it, it works in freaking GitHub. It works yeah. in LinkedIn. Uh, it struggled in Twitter, but I, I can guarantee you if I waited there long enough, it would load. It does load in Twitter. It just takes a while. Yeah. It does load in Google+, Plus, but it takes a while. Twitter, Google+, Plus are two sites that it takes a little longer to load. And I usually don't wait for it to load because, frankly, I don't have the time to wait. Time is money, as sure, we've sure. said many times. So I don't need to. And, frankly, what do I care? I don't need to go there because I've got everything I need right here. Okay. I mean, it just found everything. And then, of course, you can go in and actually source. 
So let's let's talk download. about uh, price of the tool. Um, you, you apparently know the CEO or the founder. What can you tell yes, us? Yes, I know him very well. Well, right now there is no price for the tool. Eventually there will be, but event, but there will always be a free component. There'll always be uh, the ability to to use it to a point for free. Very cool. Very cool. This and what I'm hearing right now, but don't quote me on this. Is this part will probably be free, or maybe free, but you might not see the email addresses. Uh, you just see all the social sites, which is still more than enough. Yep. And then the actual searching might be paid, or there might be a small free component. He's still deliberating about how he's going to do it, but as of right now, it's still free. Very cool. Very cool. All right, man. Uh, By the way, one more thing that yeah. we need to think about here, and I didn't think about this. Do you see this little high profiles viewed in the last few days? This way, you don't have to worry about seeing people you've already looked at, especially if it's been in the last few days. I oh, gotcha. And then you say sort by. There's a whole bunch of look, cons consolidated rank, GitHub comments, repositories, GitHub followers, Stack Overflow answers, Kaggle rating, Google Play. So they actually can can um, help you sort your results by these things. And then you have show only hidden stars, which is basically, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not even sure what that is. I haven't even used that particular component of it yet. So okay, so what it's doing is it's taking, it's bringing up people that pro. There, if you look at how often they've been viewed on profiles and stuff, um, they aren't they're, they aren't viewed very often, which is why you see down here how LinkedIn's 191 and Meetup's 870 and GitHub. I mean, these are people that just haven't been viewed a lot by other people. Yeah. Well, uh, amazing hiring is pretty amazing. Uh, we we thank yep. you for showing it to us today, Dean. Not a problem. Anytime.